Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to our second playthrough of Mage Knight the board game where we're on our second scenario which is a solo conquest where we've got to conquer two cities in three days and three nights we've just had our first day and we're moving into the first night where it's going to be turn seven now did make a little bit of a tactical error at the end of last episode i could have actually played improvisation and thrown away threaten that only gave me five influence and i needed six but what i've forgotten was of course that at the time i was on plus one on the reputation track i'm gonna to have to keep an eye on that that's one of these rules that i think's a bit of a blind spot for me and i'm just gonna continue probably to forget it every now and again that's twice i've done it in uh, in this game not in this particular scenario but i did do it in the first reconnaissance scenario as well so i've got to keep an eye on my reputation okay so having gone through i'm not going to roll that back it's just one of those things i just forgot to do it and we did end up getting the card anyway so it doesn't really matter we lost a reputation i didn't have to but uh Them's the breaks, man. If you recall, our first player is once again going to be the dummy player. So let's see what cards he's going to turn over. Let's move into turn seven. And here we are with the dummy player. So we need three cards. One, two, three. At least to begin with and let's see what we've got so we've got a blue followed by a red followed by a white so it is only three cards that is a good start for us long may it continue right that is the dummy player next let's get to the map and see what Arathea is going to do and here we are with Arathea so what are we going to do? Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take out these orcs first. And I think we will also use our scouts just to see what's in this dungeon. One of their abilities, the scouts, is we are able to turn over a token. You know, the top token of a pile. And we'll turn over the top dungeon token and we'll see what is actually in that dungeon. Then I think we'll look to go over there. And defeat whatever's in there because it is at the edge of a tile too so if we get here we can always explore around here as well so I think that's what we'll do so it's gonna be the diggers first and then we're gonna move to that dungeon okay let's get back to the player area and here we are back at the player area so we've got the diggers here. Now they are fortified, so ranged attack is going to be no good. We've got no siege, well, we've got one siege attack from the scouts, I suppose, but we want to use them for something else. So what we've got to do is we're going to have to challenge them. And when we challenge them, we have got to obviously find three block because they've got three attack. So let's find ourselves three block. We've got determination here which can give us block two we're not going to charge it because what we'll do is we will pay, play tranquility and we'll play it sideways so that gives us our three block now because we're in melee with these guys we can just attack normally we can avoid the fortified and we are going to use swiftness for the ranged attack three Remember, we haven't used it as ranged attack, but it does count as attack as well when you're in melee. So we're going to use it for attack three. But we need to charge it up because we need a white mana. But we don't have white mana. But fortunately, we do have polarization. And that means we can take a green mana and play it as white. So we'll do that and we'll take one of the mana source green mana source and we'll just change it to a white that gives us three attack we have defeated the diggers and they will give us two fame 
excellent stuff so we'll pop that up there and what we'll do let's zoom in on the fame and reputation track and we will fill that all in and here we are at the fame and the reputation track so rampaging enemy so we get plus one and obviously we get two fame so one two and we do level up so we'll discard these guys there they go and that's excellent so let's zoom out and we can level up and here we are at the player area again so dead easy to level up we just turn this guy over gives us another command token so there we go and that means we now have three armor we still got a hand limit of five but we have three armor because we are now level three so I won't bother turning this over because it's the end of the round and we'll just flip it back anyway. So we'll pop that there and we've got to re-roll our mana die. So let's just do that very quickly. And we get a white. So we've got a white, a green and a red. Get rid of that. We'll do our clean up. And we've used three cards as well, so we are up with the dummy player. So pop them there. That's great. Okay. And... Oh, I meant to use the scouts, didn't I? I can use them at the start of next turn. It doesn't matter. And uh, we'll have a look what's in that dungeon. And then, you know, if it's something that's a bit too tough, we can always change our minds, can't we? So, we've done that, and is there anything else for us to do? No, that's quite a quick level up. So, we've just got to draw up to our hand limit. So, we've got one, whoop, two, three. Let's see what we get. So, oh, we've got our new... Advanced action, learning, influence two. Once during this turn, you may pay influence six to gain an advanced action card from the advanced actions, put it in your discard, or we get influence four, and if we pay nine, we can put it into our hand. I wonder if we can just use the influence. I'll check that, because the thing is, no, into the heat's quite good. We'll have a think about that. But I'm just wondering if we can just use the influence and not the rest of the uh, text. Because I'd, I'd, I'd like to get Swift Bolt, to be honest. So we've got Learning. Then our next card is Crystallize. We've seen this before. We can pay a mana of basic colour to gain a crystal uh, to our inventory. We haven't got any mana at the moment. And we can pay a blue mana to gain a crystal of any colour. Our final card is Stamina, so we've got another move card which will hopefully come in useful for getting across to that dungeon. Okay, so but unfortunately we don't have much by way of tack, so the dungeon may actually have to wait. I suppose we could use Midnight Meditation, try and get, uh, try and get some actual uh, attack cards. And block cards we'll have to see okay right so that is it for turn seven i believe we'll be back shortly with turn eight and here we are at turn eight so it's the dummy player again and we need three cards one two three and hopefully only three. So our first card is a green, followed by a blue. Yes, we've avoided a blue again. And we've got a green, but we do have a green crystal now. So we're going to have to pull an extra card. And we get another green. So there we go. We spent four cards. We've spent seven. Okay. Right. Not ideal, but not too bad. Right. Oh. Let's go across to the map and see what we're going to do. And here we are at the map. So I think we will have a think about doing 
no we haven't got enough attack as I say I was going to move along here and uh, eventually explore here and have a go at what's in the dungeon what I think we'll do is we'll actually stay on the monastery and we're going to try and buy Swift Bolt I think and then after we've spent a few cards then we will try and move this way and hopefully explore here after killing whatever is in the dungeon so yes let's do some shopping in the monastery let's get back to our player area and here we are at the player area as said we're in the monastery and what we want to do is we want to buy swift bolt now this is going to cost us six from the monastery and the way to get it i think is we are going to use learning here and i did have a look we're actually because we're still in a monastery we can use it as an interaction action and it's also um as we can use it as part of an interaction action so we can't move or anything this turn but what we can do is if we're using it as an interaction action <laughs> this is this still making sense then um, we can add our reputation to it so if we charge this with white manor that will give us influence four here plus our reputation will be influence five and what we'll do is we'll play another card sideways for six as regards what i asked at the end of the last turn you can play it just as influence you see influence four full stop and then it starts another paragraph it says once during this turn you may pay influence nine so it's influence four but if you want to, you can play it as a, you can pay influence nine to you know get the advanced action. But we want Swift Bolt, so we're just going to play it for influence four. So we'll pop that down there. We'll use the White Manor. That gives us influence four. We've got one reputation. Remember, we are in a monastery and we are interacting, so we can add it on. If we weren't in a monastery say we're in the middle of nowhere and playing learning then we wouldn't get our reputation bonus you only get the reputation bonus if you actually are in a place where you can interact which we are because we're in a monastery so we have got four plus five and we are going to play stamina sideways and that will give us six so we gain swift bolt that goes on top of our deed deck and the last thing we're going to do is we are going to kick our scouts into gear and we're going to use the you may take a look at a face down token within three spaces on the map or at the top token of any unused enemy token pile if you defeat that token this turn gain plus one fame mm. in fact we're not going to use that because I want the plus one fame so what we'll do <laughs> I was going to have a look and then um, hopefully you know be able to work out what we're going to be able to do but I have got a plan and um, hopefully like, we will be able to defeat it anyway so we won't show what is in the actual dungeon just yet Yes, we'll save that for next turn, I think. So that is it. That's us done. We've got Swift Bolt. We know that's going to come out, so we know we've got at least one good attack card that's going to come out. Additionally, you can use ranged attack in dungeons. I did get that wrong in first reconnaissance. I didn't think you could. I was just thinking because it's a dungeon, you know, when you're you know, down in the bowels of the earth, you won't be able to use ranged attack, but you can. So that's good okay so we're going to leave it at that so we need to re-roll our white mana that we used and we get a gold awesome always good and we can get rid of that and we will put these in our discard we only used two cards that turn so that's a bit grim and we get swift bolt so we know we we've got a good ranged attack as long as we can power it and we also get concentration so we'll definitely be able to power it 
brilliant. We have got green mana as well, so we can get stronger effect of Swift Bolt plus two. Excellent. So we'll pop that there. We're up to five, and I think that is it. We've got no fame or reputation to deal with, and that is it for turn eight. Okay, we'll be back shortly with turn nine. And here we are at turn nine. So it's the dummy player. One, two, three. And hopefully that's all it's going to be. First card, green. Second card is a white. We could have done it being a white. And damn it, we've got a blue. So that's two more. That's two, isn't it? Yeah. So one two oh so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve ah that is unfortunate okay mm. that leaves us with a bit of a dilemma i think okay right Let's get back to the map and see what we're going to do. And here we are at the map, and we've got a bit of a dilemma. We've got to get here. Now that's going to cost us four movement. We can do that with March if we charge it with green mana, but then we've got no more mana to use for the rest of the turn, which, uh, no good. We've got crystallize, I suppose, which could get us a crystal of any colour to our inventory if we charge it with blue mana. We can use polarisation. But, ugh. again, what we're doing there is we've got to pay for that with a mana. It gets us a crystal, but we want to actually charge concentration. That's what we want to do. So, I think... What we can do is we can use March for two, and then we can use our Scouts for two. But that means we cannot take a look at what is in the dungeon. But I think that is okay. We'll take that risk. We may have to take a few wounds, but Celavi, we have leveled up. We're on three armor now. So I think that's what we'll do, is we'll go here using March, and then we'll go here using our Scouts for move two and then we'll look to go down that dungeon okay let's get back to the player area and here we are at the player area so we've got to do that movement first so let's use march that gives us two and then our final two we are gonna put our scouts into play for move two so that's going to give us the four move that we needed and we've now got to go down that dungeon. We cannot see before we go down that dungeon. So let's see what we have got. And we have... Ooh, a werewolf. That's nasty. But it isn't fortified. And that is the good part about it. Because we can get away with this. Even though it's got swiftness and it attacks for seven... Remember, we can use ranged attack down the dungeon. So before we get into a melee with this guy, we are going to try and kill it with ranged attack. So we need five, and I think we can do that. We're going to play concentration here. We're going to charge that with green man mana from the source. And that means we can play another card for its overpower plus two, so that'll give us ranged attack six. Whew, brilliant. So we've killed this guy and we haven't even taken any wounds. Woohoo, that is just brilliant, man. Fantastic, so we'll pop him up there. Right, let's, uh, I don't think we're gonna do anything else. No, we'll leave it at that. Let's get up to the fame and reputation track and uh, pop that fame on. And here we are at the fame and reputation. We don't get any reputation, but we do get five fame. So one, two, three, four, five. That is great. We can discard this guy. And 
we need just put one of our shields onto that dungeon and that is going to be it I think we don't get any rep and don't think there is anything else for us to do okay let's zoom out and uh, let's clean up and here we are at the clean up so first of all let's re-roll this manner and we get a red so we've got two reds and a gold get rid of that get rid of these guys so three cards pop those on there and is there anything else for us to do no I don't think so so we can draw up we need three more cards Ooh, burning shield we could have done with that <laughs> one do some movement as well two battle versatility all our battle cards are coming out now and our final card is swiftness so after having virtually no battle cards no combat cards to take out the uh, diggers and the werewolf we've now got loads of them and we've got no movement now so that's going to be a bit of a laugh so yes we could have done with some movement to reveal another tile next turn but uh, we'll have a fit I mean we could play some sideways but it seems a terrible waste an absolute terrible waste perhaps we'll try and pick up a spell could possibly pick up another spell we do have snowstorm out there so which is pretty good it's got ranged attack five so perhaps we'll go for that but uh, that is for another time because that is three turns and I think we will call it there and we'll call that the end of episode three. Okay, so it went pretty well. We have got some, uh, we have got some fame. We have, we leveled up once. We're nearly up to leveling up again. And yes, I think we did okay. We got Swift Bolt, which we wanted, and uh, yes, not stellar progress, but I think we've done okay. And yes, we do need to start exploring a bit more. We are on the edge of the map, so if we can manage to do that next turn, that'll be great. And uh, yes, let's get a move on, because we need to get a move on. And we're going to have to start killing some more things as well because we need to uh, we need to start leveling up getting more cards getting more units we do have a unit space so hopefully we'll be able to recruit as well at some point and uh, get a, another unit other than that I think it went pretty well as I say it's not stellar progress but I think we are chugging along nicely Okay, so that is it for episode 3 of Mage Knight and Solo Conquest. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the subscriptions. Thanks for all the views. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the dislikes. You're still watching. And thank you for all the help and support. As ever, if I've made any tactical errors or strategy errors, please let me know. I probably have. To say, it's only my second game. And if I've made any normal errors, done something that I couldn't do, please let me know and I will try and fix it for next turn. And yes, thank you to everybody who's been across the board game links to have a look at the videos over there and everybody on BGG who has uh, commented on the video threads or liked them or dropped me any geek gold. It's very kind of you. Thank you. And yes... That's it for episode three. I hope you join me for episode four. But until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.